So, two years ago, I made a video going over the post-Renaissance era. And so it's like most of my older videos, they didn't age too well. For the longest, I wanted to do this video over again. Thankfully, due to the show, I can do so. I'm going to dedicate the next few Timothy Review Shorts videos to the Disney post-Renaissance films. But here's a few things I'm going to do. First, I'm excluding Fantasia 2000 because... Well, it's Fantasia 2000. If you review Fantasia wrong, then what are you, what are you doing? doing here? Lastly, I'm going to be adding the Princess and the Frog just because I want to. Okay, so you guys get what I'm trying to say. Let's talk about the second film in the post-Renaissance. Dinosaur was released on May 19, 2000. The film is directed by Ralph Zondag. He's been involved in films such as Rugrats Go Wild, Home on the Range, and Curious George. He's also worked on 3D features like Meet the Robinsons and Bolt. At the time of recording, he's only directed this movie and We're Back a Dinosaur Story. I heard that that movie is bad, but I've never seen it so I can't really say anything about it. The origins of this film originates back to 1986, where Phil Tibet said to that guy, that they should make a dinosaur picture. I'm not going over everything that happened by the scene. This isn't Timothy Review short, you know. Anyways, long story short, this film was in the works for a while. It started under Little Things First in January 1997, but it didn't really get serious until eight months later. 48 animators worked on the film, using 300 computer processors to animate. This film uses the mix of live action footage and CG. Pretty sure you can tell which is which. The film did well at the box office even with this mixed reception. I always knew this movie existed, but it was just one of those films that I knew but never watched. Fast forward to early 2020, I remember being obsessed with finding a physical copy of Dinosaurs for no other reason but just to have it. I guess it was because I really like how the poster looked. I went to Barnes & Noble, and luckily enough, I found a copy of the movie in good condition. Me and my little sister watched it, and while she loved it, I thought it was just fine enough. I don't think Dinosaurs is awful by any means, but this film is the definition of playing it safe. Dinosaur is insanely mediocre, and it makes me upset because this movie begins with some great looking visuals for its time, and the score by James Newton Howard is wonderful to listen to. The first few minutes of the film were well done, then the movie shows its ugly self by showing that the animals can talk. Now having talking animals in your film isn't a bad thing, but these lemurs are not memorable. Honestly, without searching anyone's name, can you tell me who this character is? You don't know? Me either. The plot for the movie isn't anything to brag about. After a meteor crashes into Aladar's home, it forces him and his family to move away. It's the next morning and Aladar continues to search for him and his family a place to stay. They later find a herd of other dinosaurs trying to find themselves a new home as well. This is where I feel the movie plays it safe because I bet you can guess everything that's going to happen next. Cronus is the bad guy for no other reason but just to be the film's antagonist. Nero is the love interest but their relationship feels so rushed so it doesn't feel genuine. Even when Aladar and his crew leaves to go to a different path, the movie is still predictable. I couldn't make myself upset that Crone died. It was supposed to be an emotional moment, but the audience was supposed to feel sad for the fact that a character who's been an ass to everyone in the entire movie, even before he died. You can't make me feel for a character I don't care about. It's cool to see everyone at their new home, I guess. This movie doesn't do anything new. I bet for the time it was released, the VFX were good looking, but now they're not awful, just dated. The humor is pretty dry. I remember chuckling twice at least, but it wasn't anything I'll laugh at again. What's wild is the fact that I don't think this movie feels rushed or dragged. Its pacing is perfectly fine, but these characters are not interesting whatsoever. Maybe may be harsh to say, but I don't remember any moment regarding other characters that aren't the main characters. I'm struggling to write for this video because there's not much for me to talk about. That and I'm listening to a Kanye album while writing this, this shit is wild. I will say, even though I touched on this earlier, I do like the score for this film. I'll even say it's the only underrated thing from this film. Derek Travels is amazing, but The Nesting Ground and Across the Desert are also great to listen to. Look guys, there isn't much for me to say. Dinosaur is just there. I admire the film for trying to do something new in terms of visuals even though it's dated. I can appreciate that, but that can only get you so far. The film is paced fine, but the characters don't give me a reason to care for most of them. And what sucks is that this movie has so much potential just from the concept alone. So it stings to see this movie turn out the way it did. It's this Disney film that plays it safe from the beginning to end, and for that reason, that's why I feel this movie is mediocre. Next time we'll be doing The Emperor's New Groove, which I'm excited to watch again. Can't confirm that'll be the next video, but we'll see what's up in the future.